Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Hey, what's going on? This is Mad Money Shot bringing you guys another top five video. Uh, if you guys want to see uh, the full video of any of these defenses I'm going to show you today, make sure you check out the uh, description uh, for the links to the full videos. Other than that, if you want to see any more top five videos, uh, do me a favor, hit the like button or let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into it with our number five. So we'll start off with the um we'll start off with the pinch bug zero before i start the video though i just want to thank my new sponsors at mmoxp.com if you guys are looking to buy some coins for your mutt team you can do that there and you can support me by supporting them and buying your coins through them and make sure to use discount code money shot so they know that you came from my site from my channel other than that, let's go ahead, let's get into the video so this play right here like i said i mean you can see you know we come out on a shotgun so we essentially have you know a little bit different than the play normally would be normally you would uh, you would pinch I'm sorry, you would show your base line and show blitz, and then you would get this look. But you can see how a lot of these guys are kind of out of place. So, you know, that, that could be somewhat of an issue. I find it's best, instead of having Roberts here trying to cover that tight end, to cover that tight end myself over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to blitz all. So he'll basically, we'll basically switch jobs. So now I'm going to be over here. This is an important setup for this blitz as well as the cover four blitz I'm going to show later. But now, essentially, if I just come in really close and hug this guy's hip, you're going to see how the defensive end on the other side gets off free. And I guess it was a QB sneak. I don't know what, the, what that was about. But we'll, we'll go watch the replay, and we'll see how that worked out. So let's go ahead and let's watch the replay real quick. Like I said, you're just all I'm really going for here. I'm not going to break down this. I've already shown this. But you can see how the guy comes off free. So other than that, I mean, you really only use that if you get a shotgun look an empty backfield look or you can use it here too but essentially there's a specific purpose to that so like i said typically all you would do is base a line and show blitz and then you could get a lot of heat running this defense now a lot of people are kind of figuring this defense out uh, i personally love it when people run this defense on me now because i just hit them with a bench switch and it's pretty much a touchdown so you can't run this defense all the time you have to be smart on when you choose to blitz and typically with this defense you don't even really have to do any adjustments you can run it as is you don't have to show your hand and you'll get pressure because you're sending so many players so you can run it just like this and you're going to get pressure that's essentially how this defense works so that's one defense one variation but like i said a lot of people will just start hitting slant routes so that's why i came up with a second defense which i'll go over real quick where essentially i would just i would just do this i'd zone all then i would put my outside guys on um you know either curl flats or hard flats that's essentially the the defense right there so now if you try to get smart and start throwing slants or whatnot or even basically any route inside of 20 yards is going to get double covered which is essentially how this defense plays and it's going to lock down for a good portion of the game so this was the second defense that i put out it's been wildly successful and popular this is probably my base defense that i would use maybe half of the game really depends on down and distance if somebody needs third and five i could pull something out like this and it's going to lock everything down you know what i mean or if they like i said if they're getting smart and they start trying to hit slants they're going to be throwing picks they're gonna be thrown right into my hook zones and then when the play art comes up after the play it's gonna say pinch buck zero so they're essentially gonna say what happened i thought that they were running a blitz i don't understand how i'm throwing in picks and they're never gonna know what you're running so the big nickel over g you can see i can make uh, the first adjustment i would make is at my safety spots i would put corners because essentially they're gonna have uh, I mean, right here, Devin McCoury is a former corner, so I can leave him where he's at. But I want to make sure that I put, um, you know, really good coverage linebackers at the defensive end spots, really fast safeties, good coverage safeties at the linebacker spots, and uh, good cornerbacks at all the safety spots. So I'll go ahead and I'll just set up my adjustments. Uh, I'll make my uh, my audibles. One's going to be a cover two man. The other one's going to be a cover one hole. So like I said, I started off with cover one hole, but essentially you're going to make the determination of what you want based off of. Um, you know what I'm looking at as far as down and distance. So if I'm looking at a third and uh, you know third and 15 or something like that, I'm going to want to come out in the cover two one most likely. If I'm looking at um, you know something that's like third and five or you know third and ten, you know I'm saying a little bit shorter distance, I'm going to come out in the cover one. So it really depends on either where your opponent's been throwing the ball throughout the game, whether they've been throwing it deeper, or whether the down and distance dictates or the situation dictates how they're going to play. So if you're up a touchdown late in the game and they got to drive with like a minute left, you're going to want to come out in the deep cover. Uh, situation rather than coming out in the one that covers short passes so like I said that's really going to dictate more than anything but the adjustments going to be pretty similar so like I said I'll start off with the cover one hole uh, pretty much how I'm setting this up is I like to I want to have outside containment 
and I think the best way to do that, I mean, I have Dron Harmon, he's, my, he's a safety, he's going to be a little bit better in zone coverages, so like I said, once again, down a distance to the side, whether I want to put him into something like a uh, curl flat, or put him in something like a hard flat, you know what I mean, so if it's like third and three, hard flat might be the way, I like hard flats, to be honest with you, but you know, obviously they can get beat over the top, so I, like I said, down a distance, once again, third and ten, I'm going to go, I'm going to go curl flat, you know what I mean, third and, uh, third and five, I'm going to go hard flat, real simple, and then the other side, like I said, I have, um, you know, I wanted to have good linebackers at these at these outside edge spots. Kyle Van Noy, I think, has a pretty good uh, zone coverage. So I'm gonna, like I said, once again, I'm either gonna curl flat him or I'm gonna hard flat him. And this is gonna give me good coverage inside. You know what I mean? Like this is essentially gonna give me, um, you know, I, I'm really trying to get outside coverage. So I can also hit my adjustments, my coverage adjustments, to outside to make sure they get outside as much as possible. Uh, but like I said, I mean, obviously the uh, the the um, the curl flats are going to give up a little bit underneath, so you know if I have to decide to switch it to hard flats, I can do that. But this is pretty much the play. So then I'm going to use the guy using the running back. We got a uh, screen off the bat, and I get caught up in my lineman. But you know that's that's going to be user. I have to pay attention to the running back, but I really have a choice whether I want to follow him all the way out or whether I want to um, you know essentially just let him go because like I'll have I'll have zone coverages to the outside. So if I think he's in a flat beater, I'll just leave him to the flat zone and I'll still roll in the middle. So you have to make that determination on every play, and that's about it. Here's a play where essentially I don't have to make that determination because there is no running back. So here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the middle linebacker or the player that's essentially running the uh, the three rec zone there. And then I'm going to take, you know, like I said, I have two receivers on the left side, three on the right side. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a concept that's going to be more prevalent in the cover two play that I'm going to show in a minute. And I'm going to put, uh, you know, put a uh, flat zone or, you know, a, a, cloud, a cloud flat, whatever to um, the side that has more receivers. Or if I have you know two receivers to both sides, a lot of times the open side of the field will be the uh, will be what decides it. So like I said, right there, three wide receivers, I go ahead and I do the hard flat to that side, shuts it down. So that's a really easy way to think of it. Here's another scenario. I mean, like I, I, if I wanted to do just one side, I could do that to the side that has three wide receivers. I don't necessarily have to do a, a flat over here because there's only a tight end. So I can leave him doing what he's doing and I can, I can just leave this guy, you know, just leave him on the running back. I don't even have to worry about that. Now I can just use the middle. I have my, my, uh, my hook, my hook, uh, my hard flat taking underneath stuff away from the three wide receiver set. And I have the running back manned up. So now I can just free roam the middle. So essentially, I'm pretty much always going to be sending three. That's all I'm really going to get. And this is all just coverage based. So like I said, right here, and then we get, uh, you know, we get a run play. We get a, a, a draw and it's, it's shut down. Uh, other than that, the two plays are right in front of you. It's the outside safety blitz and the cover two invert. So what I typically would do is I would just make sure that I have them both. Like right there, I have a regular cover two. Cover two, uh, I'm sorry, I have the fireman. I want to get rid of that and just put the outside safety blitz. And then instead of the Tampa two, I would just switch it up and put the... Uh, put the cover to invert you know what i mean so i basically swap you know apples for apples oranges for oranges they're basically the same idea but i basically get the ones that i want so i'll pick those two plays they they set up exactly the same so your opponent's never really going to know what they're looking at so right off the bat i mean you can see how the safeties come down they're typically in hard flats which i kind of like uh, the only thing that i really might change is i could probably put uh Keekly here um, into a middle third that would really be my option if I'm not going to use him if I'm going to use him Then I could pretty much just take him and, and I'll use that myself But if not going if I'm not going to use him like right here I'm not going to I typically want to take one of these defensive ends and move them in as close as possible I don't know why but for some reason I think this helps to get pressure I'm not going to say that it does for sure But from time to time I notice that it really does so it doesn't really that's not going to help me out on the run defensive side But if I'm going to run the cover two version, it's pretty much going to be trying to stop the pass anyway So that's pretty much you know this is pretty much the pass defense variety but like i said i'm trying to market this as a run defense so we would go ahead and we would switch over to that i would be switching back and forth between these two plays uh pretty much uh, the entire game like i said to the point where my opponent's never really going to know whether it's going to be the blitz or the cover two um which you know like i said even if i run the cover two i mean the safeties are still really um, you know i mean they're still playing the run really well even if i come out in this cover two and i do the exact same setup because they're in hard flats they're going to hit these gaps really well you know what i mean even if it's whether they're blitzing or not as far as run defense goes they're going to maintain that outside about as good as you could ask for and then i also go ahead and I, and I pinch my defensive line and spread my linebackers so essentially this is going to be the look um, you can see i mean like i said i'm covering the middle here so it's going to be my responsibility to make sure nothing gets deep this time uh, but like I said, if I want to kick it up a notch and try to get, like I said, right there, I mean, they try a little end around thing. They're, they're, the edge is going to be maintained, bottom line. 
pretty much every time the edge and you want to make your adjustments as quickly as possible too because for whatever reason ea decided that every time you make an adjustment the safeties reset which is really stupid so you might run into that issue where you where they're all the way back when the play starts so make your adjustments as quick as possible all i'm doing is pinching the defensive line spreading the linebackers and that's it um i could also if i wanted to i could go ahead and i could do like a uh, do a um uh, QB contain and that'll help with the pressure like I said if it is a pass play uh, But this is pretty much all I'm gonna do and then this you know, like I said nine times out of ten I'm probably gonna be taking Cookley back or taking Keekly back uh, To take away deep throws and you can see like I said right there We get the QB contain pressure the spinner dog three so to me without a doubt This is the best post patch blitz So as far as setting this up all I'm really gonna do is base the line and show blitz That's pretty much all I have to do. Um, I typically want to bring these guys inside because i'm going to go ahead i'm going to put them on a uh you know i'm going to do the uh um, this is the same thing that's been working pretty much all around the game <laughs> is the uh is putting them on a uh a qb contain and then i'm just going to go ahead i'm going to motion in this linebacker and basically i have to use his area but i want to go ahead and try to draw attention for of these linemen so these guys can get around the edge so let's go ahead and let's do that like i said i'm going to go ahead i'm going to drop back as you can see pressure you know made an inaccurate throw so here we go, baseline, show blitz, baseline. Do it real quick, because like I said, you see that cornerback resets every time. So you have to do it, if you, if you don't, you know, if you wait, he'll reset twice and he'll mess up the whole play. I typically, like I said, if I can get this back end guy here, like I, I think he might be a better one to turn, because obviously the running back's on the right side. So if I can get him on that QB contain on the, on the left side, away from that running back, that might be the way to go. And you can see he just comes in free. But ultimately, this is not a great run defense, but you can have success is the bottom line. So here we go once again. Like I said, I'll just bring him over. I don't know why that's, that linebacker stands up sometimes right there. He just stood up, and that kind of messes me up a little bit. It's going gonna, it's gonna to mess up the, the success of this play, um, but that's okay. So like I said, right there, we get that free guy once again, getting the sack. Um, the uh, we'll, we'll get rid of that play right there. We'll pick the uh, the Mike Blitz zero, which was actually already in the in the audibles. So how this defense works, there's really a couple different setups. Sometimes I'll leave it just like this and user this this uh this linebacker here i mean i can bring him down into the gap just to try to get these uh, i already i mean i put these outside guys in the qb contain so i can try to get these qb contain guys off um just so you can see he comes in free i mean it was it was a shotgun empty backfield so you're gonna get that look quite often obviously and i find it's really successful because of lack of time to set up your plays a lot of times on defense um, you can really just hit QB contain and then boom, you're right where you're at, right where you need to be. You're down here in the box trying to get. I typically find too, if, if I want to get um, the uh, like, if I uh, like right here, I'm setting up so that I can get the left uh, blitzer off. Like if I come down here, I'm trying to get him in because he's really not really close. You can see right there, we get uh, pressure from the other side. So that's one method. Like I said, this defense is really flexible. You can do a lot of different things with this defense. Uh, but to me, this is probably one of the most common that I use. Like I said, all I'm doing is QB containing, bringing this guy down to the blitz. I can typically base a line, show press, all that stuff that, I, that, that people typically do. Uh, it's really up to you based off of individual coverage. For whatever reason, though, a lot of times when I do that, that safety basically turns into a double coverage for the outside, um, for that outside receiver. I don't know why it does that, but it does that for a lot of times uh, other than that if i want to set up for run defense one of the reasons i really like this play is you can just basically spread everybody you know what i mean like you can just get these linebackers out you can manually move them out so that you don't give up outside containment which is really good when it comes to run defense but you can see in, in pass defense it takes them out of the qb contain which i don't want to do uh, i want to keep them i want to keep them close enough that they're in the qb contain but i want them to have outside leverage of these defensive players because if it is a run play to the outside they'll do a great job of setting that up and stopping that and then if i have a cover three because like i said i do have a cover through my audibles a lot of times um, we're going to go to that a lot of times i want this safety out here too you know what i mean i'll just take him down and that way i'll have even better run defense you can see i can just set up to a point there's no outside runs that are going to happen against this and if i set it up like this inside runs might be a little bit more an issue but if they're hitting me more with inside runs then i have my option to bring these guys inside like that so it basically sets up like i have three linebackers it's like a five three which essentially to me like i said the way that this works i don't really worry about run fits a lot of people they swear by run fits i make my own run fits as you can see right there i'd stop i stop touching the controller and boom we get a playoff but still you can see how it's going to set up like i said i make my own run fits you know what i mean i don't really worry about that so these guys outside are blitzing i know how they're going to go based off of that and then like i said i can just basically you know set all this up how i want to the point where I have, you know, I have my own contain. So, you know, this is pretty much how I like to run it. And like I said, I, if I want to do, if I'm thinking pass, this is a good way to get some pressure. And like I said, I got to get back and then I, I just have coverage. You know what I mean? Like the man coverage is better in this game this year than zone. 
So to me, I typically will start off with um, with a lot of this. You know, I mean, a lot of a lot of this type of play, and then like I said, just use her in the middle. I have my choice too. If I want to, if I want to let the all-out blitz happen, I can just use the guy on the running back because nine times out of ten, the running back stays on the block anyway. So I really have my option to just use her this guy over the running back and do the exact same thing, just using the center of the field. If the running back goes out on a route, I gotta take it. But you can see now I just kicked the blitz up a notch. So that's it, that's the vid. Uh, like I said, it's really mostly about this particular play, but you do have the uh, the option if they start hitting you with slants and stuff like that, you can pull out this, uh, this, uh, this you know, the Sam 3 Will Blitz, whatever the hell it's called. This is probably the second version that I do. You can do the exact same setup as far as the pressure. Come down the gap, you'll get some free runners in the same way. You're just going to confuse your opponent. They're going to be expecting that same man blitz, which, like I said, the man version uh, blitz would probably be the play that I'd run 9 times out of 10. But if I want to if I want to mix it up and throw in a zone every once in a while, this would be the play that I would do. Because I also have the option, if I really want to take away like slants and stuff like that, that people think they get smart and, and start throwing, you hit zone all, and you're going to be jumping those lanes so essentially this here would probably be my second favorite play out of this formation you can see there's nothing open over the middle and he goes and he throws it right to me and uh, we're gonna end the video on that so that's it that's the play that's the video uh, if you guys want to see more defensive plays do me a favor hit the like button and i'll do that next other than that thanks for watching mad money shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.